good to now be on the other side of the coin and be interviewing you now. So thank you again for volunteering for these projects. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And one of the reasons I wanted to interview you is I find your work very fascinating. So you're a therapist, correct? Yes. And how long have you been um, doing that type of work? Well, I've been, let's see, I got my master's uh, in 75. and 78, I got my license. And I was working in county mental health in Riverside at that time. So I've been doing this for quite a while. Nice. It's almost embarrassing. <laughs> almost embarrassing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's been a 78, 40 year career. Years. 41 year career. Congratulations. Yeah. Awesome. And one of the things I, I admired a lot about your work is that you said you work with children and because it's close to home. You said you work with veterans? Yes. Could you tell us more about that type of work? Well, sure. There's a government uh, program called CHOICE. And for uh, these, ser these veterans who can't get in in a, a, a good enough time mm -hmm. for services, they get referred to somebody who's a therapist with CHOICE. Mm -hmm. And that's how they've come my way. Excellent. And you've been working with Choice for how long? About three years now. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you said you'd been doing it for a little bit longer. I've worked with the military for a long time. Ah, I even okay. worked at 32nd Street for three years back in the, in the, uh, what, the 80s. Oh, so, wow. And I've seen folks in my practice. But this is through a particular program. Gotcha. Tell us about working on 32nd Street with, with uh, veterans or was it, um, Active members. Ap active members and their families. Okay. So I worked with uh, Family Advocacy, and that was the, the uh, agency, oh. uh, the, the group there that dealt with domestic violence. Oh, gotcha. So we were dealing with spouse abuse, child abuse, mm. the, the various forms of child abuse. Gotcha. And that's, yeah. Gotcha. That must have been very tough then. It was. <laughs> what, what just came to my mind, which is totally off the hip, was when I first went there, I noticed that there were some really obese people. Wow. And I thought to myself, does this job do that to a person? Is it going to do it to me? me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I got to know that candy machine down the hall real well. Real well. <laughs> well the soda machine. And that one too. <laughs> <laughs> that coffee and you also became good friends, huh? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Is that what propelled you into wanting to do uh, some child work? No, actually I was wanting to do child work before that. And when they hired me, it was to work with the children and oh, okay. uh, primarily. And I was there on one contract and it was uh, uh, working, uh, work, working with the, the children and families um, who, where there'd been abuse and neglect Oh, and I gotcha. primarily worked with the kids. Uh, then there was a second contract where I was hired in again under okay. this other contract, and that was a counselor for children who witnessed domestic oh, violence. Oh, gotcha. And that was pretty exciting because we did groups. Nice. And uh, it got to be very creative, and, and I think it, I felt really good about felt really good doing about that. that. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, of course, when you're helping children and families, that's definitely worked it you get to see how your effect is taking in multiple generations. One, one um, situation that I've shared before, uh, I, it, it was special. It was like at the end, we, like I said, we did groups mm -hmm. and uh, there were the, the kids group from uh, that, the kids were like five to seven and then kids from like eight to 10. And they were like about 12 weeks long. Uh, there might have been some individual work, but it's primarily group. In the meantime, the, the person who'd been the domestic partner perpetrator okay. was going up through a particular uh, group and training and so forth, and then as well as the, the, you know, the other the spouse. At the very end of that, we gathered around a table, and at that table, everybody had healed enough uh -huh. to where the kids could say, what it had been like for them gotcha. with, and the parents could handle it and appreciate the kids and the kids could appreciate how their parents were doing so much differently now wow. that was special yeah it yeah. sounds like it because yeah. again you're impacting generations yeah. so before we end because i know that this was a tough tough topic 
how do you feel now as far as working with, with our veterans and helping them deal with PTSD? I love working with the veterans. Okay. Um, they're wonderful people. I, I, I was thinking about this before coming here tonight. I, I, I've lot, there's been one or two people who kind of, you know, but as a whole, sweet, okay. appreciative. They come in, they're hurting, you know, they, they haven't been sleeping, mm. the PTSD, the depression, anxiety, and, and they're just really appreciative, nice people, and, and they work, and they work to get better, and that's really rewarding. Excellent. And how long is your average time with a, a, PTS, a PTSD a sufferer? It can be anywhere from maybe a couple of months to a couple of years. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, hey, we, we're, we've run out of time. It has been wonderful speaking with you. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we end? Oh, gosh. Um, no, I can't think of anything. Okay. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you. Appreciate you.